Jenny Young learning about the work that's also being done in downtown Portland to also help people on the other side of the country. She joins us live now with that. Jenny. Dan Liz, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has moved what's called Operation Blue Roof. They've moved that call center to the Portland division at the headquarters here in downtown. It is going to be rigorous. It's going to be 12 hours a day, um, handling calls and taking care of people. Operation Blue Roof is a FEMA program run by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers that provides victims of natural disasters with a free temporary roof, like this one made of fiber reinforced sheeting. Good morning, this is Sharon with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Operation Blue Roof. Could you please state your name for me? Until now, the program was operated out of Jacksonville, Florida. We've had calls where there may be an 80 year old um, widow who's disabled and she's sitting in her home with a big gaping hole in the roof and she's crying on the phone because she has nobody else to turn to. David Dean helped run the call center in Jacksonville. Now he's in Portland training dozens of core volunteers who will be taking calls 12 hours a day, seven days a week from Hurricane Ian survivors who've been left with extensive roof damage. Part of the training is role playing. I will continue on here with this application. We watched this afternoon as the team acted out mock calls. I'm going to read you a statement here and I need you to answer yes or no. You need compassion, you need empathy to be able to serve in a role like this. This is going to be a 60, 70 day mission, maybe even longer. And so we're here for the long haul. Colonel Mike Helton says the Portland Division was asked to establish the call center only a week ago, but says this team is ready to serve. It's just such an honor for these folks all the way out in Portland, way out of harm's way, to be able to make a difference down in the southeast U.S. All right, we learned they're expected to get anywhere from hundreds to thousands of calls a day. However, this has not gone live yet. We learned that FEMA has to give the green light, and that could be in the next few days or so. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Queen Six News.